Okay, here's my solution to the second part of the question, which was to um, be able to count up or down uh, on the, when, when a button is pressed. So the way I've wired this is with a momentary push button. Uh, so the button here on the, the left hand side is the reset button, which sets the counter back to zero when you push it. And then it counts from there. And the button on the right hand side is my up down counter button. So when I press this now, you can see that it starts to count and you hold this button it counts backwards 1, 0 and now goes 9, 8, 7, 6 so it counts down and when I let go of the button it starts to count forwards again so this is the solution that I developed and it was a little bit more complicated than I expected and perhaps I haven't uh, I haven't got the optimal solution here uh, one of the problems with it is that you have to switch the clock um, if you look, if you if you check back on the, and, and this is I think is the most challenging part of this particular question, is that these two green lines are clo are both clock lines going back to the BCD up down counter, and to count up, um, you have to have this pin with the clock and this pin high, and when you want to have the count down, you have to have this pin with the clock and this pin high, which means the way that I did this was to use um, uh, a couple of NAND gates. Uh, and I used the first NAND gate to give me an inverted input. Um, the one thing you might realize is I've changed the functionality slightly of my circuit and uh, you could fix this by using the last inverter but you can see now that in this case here um, if, you're, if, you notice, if, you, if you spotted it um, in the last circuit, the original circuit the number changed when the diode lit up so it was on the rising edge but you can see now that my number changes on a falling edge so when the diode goes off the number changes and the reason is because I've inverted the clock pulse because of the way the NAND gate operates the clock pulse is inverted uh, I'll draw a diagram now just to show you the, um, the, the circuit that I've put together here and you can see that uh, it, it has one gate uses and a NAND gate uses it just in a, as an inverter so the two inputs are connected together and then this means that pin 3 here is giving the inverted output. Uh, the second NAND gate is on pins 4, 5 and 6 uh, the ground is connected to pin 7 and VCC is connected to pin 14 uh, this is the, one, the first uh, inverter that allows us to, decide, to, to choose the uh, the clock, either this clock cycle or the clock on the other side. So here we have this is uh, our, our our normal uh, input from our our non-inverted input from our from our our, our switch, and um, then this is the uh, clock pulse that's coming in. Uh, so the yellows refer to the clock pulse that's been sent from the uh, five five timer, and the greens are the return are the return parts returning back to the circuit. Um, the uh, output. Um, is is green here, so this is an input, input, and output, and then you can see that that's the the um, the way that I've 